I grew up in Huntington Beach when I was young and just loved to go surfing. All I wanted to do was get to Hawaii and then Hobie gave me a job being in front of the camera. So I left Hawaii with my surfboard, my bedroll, which was a blanket, my trunks and the clothes I had on my back and hung out in the bushes and slept wherever I could, you know. So a 67, 68, we happened to move into Bonsai Beach and looked down the beach and saw these perfect little rights coming down from a uh, pipeline. And we called them pipe rights, but actually it was back door and off the wall. And so we started experimenting with those and there was nobody on the beach at the time, nobody hanging out because everybody would drive by and go to sunset. Phil Edwards was uh, my mentor. I don't know what else to call him. He taught me how to shape and I loved his surfing. Pro Surfer then was shaping surfboards and designing surfboards and creating a job in the surf industry for yourself because there wasn't one making these smaller boards, we wanted more rocker in them. So we had to uh, cut the planers off in the back. And so the guns uh, were getting smaller, but we put rocker in so you could make the drop and get underneath the hook and, and fly. I think it was my wife. She told me I'd figure it out because she ran away with me when she was 16. And I go, I can't even take care of myself. How am I gonna take care of you? She just pointed in my chest, you'll figure it out. <laughs> Luckily, we figured it out. We're still happily married 47 years later. Uh, we started uh, Astrodeck in 1976. Y yeah, it was a, uh, a whole new innovation. You could stay on your board, you could travel, you didn't need wax. But when it went to the just the tail patch where you got the kick tail with the arch bar, kids started doing bigger tricks and airs, and my kids were the experimental guys. Uh, skateboarding and surfing is art. It's performance art. And that can lead into a lot of other things. You know, like in Hawaii, um, I'd look out my front window and you'd see all these broken surfboards laying all over the yard. And I went, how fantastic. What a piece of art that would be. And so I made some armatures and started putting them on the wall. We call them rectangles because they're all wrecked and tangled up. Adventuring around, flying in the South Pacific over islands, hunting for waves. You could see all the lava flows and all the lush trees and the beaches. And it's just how it flows. And on my um, archipelagos here, it looks like you're looking down, looking for surf, but you see these great colors and shapes. My resin paintings are pigments mixed in with resin, and so when you pour them, they just sort of flow out, and then they intermingle and coagulate and do weird things that just look beautiful design-wise. I just love to surf, you know, and I love art, and, you know, every day I have a camera or a paintbrush or my surfboard under my arm doing something. I got to. I'd go crazy if I didn't.